Hi everyone! Whoever they are, wherever they are, and what, whatever time you are in right now, it's evening here in Singapore, and I'm still on my off days. Today I'm with my friends. Friend? Oh yeah, of course, friends. <laughs> um, of course, like usually we want to know what the story behind. So uh, let's get started. No, we are starting. <laughs> so let's to the point. So here is my friends. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Why are you so like so nervous? Actually, me too. I'm nervous. Do I look like nervous? Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> I think I should sleep. Oh yeah, I think you're clear. Are you just finished your working or something? I was just working today. I was so busy all the day and I was running around. I had a visit in a different sector. Anyway, I forgot to say my name. I'm... Hi, Mazar here. <laughs> okay. And she's Ellie, by the way. <laughs> Everyone knows. Okay, uh, just tell your name and where you come from. What are you doing know in Singapore? Well, I am Mazar. I am from Bangladesh, all the way from Bangladesh. I'm working here as a mechanical engineer in a petrochemical refinery. And it's been a long time, since 2009, so it's 10 years. Wow, 10 years. How is, how is your life for the 10 years? Well, if you ask me from my point of view, this 10 years was so much robotic. Robotic, controlled. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of rules and regulations which I, I was used to back in my school and college life. But when I came back to this uh, this job, and I found it more and more difficult, more and more rules in Singapore. So specifically both those who came from bigger countries. When we are tired, we can run away anywhere. And that is difficult for us when we are in a smaller country. We are so right. tired and we don't have any place to go. Right. That's correct. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I think that is the challenge uh, to be a migrant. So could you tell me like what you do on your day off exactly? Well, that is a good question. Since last 10 years, I really had nothing to do on my weekends except sleeping. <laughs> Everyone loves sleeping, especially on their own days. Because I was used to be very busy. And uh, when I came in 2009, I joined here and uh, as an admin officer. So specifically, I was isolated inside an island. That was a project ongoing. So my living location was inside that island. So after all the day, I just finished my work. Go back to my room and sleep. That's it. Yeah, and eat and sleep. Okay. You don't want to like swim to other islands. <laughs> well, that is totally isolated island, and from this refinery, you can go out to specifically when you are inside, and no outsiders are allowed inside wow. unless you have a sponsor. Oh so, so that that costs a lot. Anyway, when we finished that project, I came back to mainland Singapore and it was as, as safe as last time. So it was a bit boring for me being an admin. Okay. Uh, I, really, I really lost my weight. Oh, lost oh, wow. my weight. Uh, I mean, before I came in Singapore, I was just 64 kg. And after that one year of project and as an admin, I became really old. Oh I my lost God. my weight. <laughs> that sorry. was ridiculous. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I love. I love. I'm very <laughs> so, sorry. So when I came back from that uh, project, I, I requested to my boss I want to change my sector. So I changed myself to a logistics department. Started to run around with logistics for two and a half years. And then after that, I found logistics. Uh, I really had nothing. I tried to finish my diploma in mechanical engineering and I did not So since then, I really had nothing to do on the weekends, honestly, because uh, I don't drink. I don't have a girlfriend in the house. So I don't have those kind of things to go off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, 
finally, in the last year in 2018, yeah, 2018, December, we started our poetry club. You can say that is a recitation learning center. So after that, I started to have something to do at the weekend. So usually my weekend is on Saturday and Sunday. But our recitation club works on Sunday. So that gives me some good quality time. Okay, so Saturday and Sunday is your own. So what's your own Saturday? Well, Saturday is mostly my home days, so but in totally case of emergency, off. I have to go to office. And especially if there is any projects around me, so I need to go together with my team. So I can't call it a complete holiday. Anyway, it's a holiday because uh, on but Saturday... But you have to stand by. Yeah, I have to stand by. But in case, uh, if I am inside my work area, my company has to pay me so that's something that's really a holiday kind of things and uh, yeah that's it if I, if I don't go in there I just do my cooking oh awesome and I do uh, different different kinds of experiments on the cooking and most of the people can do that <laughs> on the record <laughs> uh, uh, yeah I think you should cook for me <laughs> what kind of recipe do you want? Anything. Um, either of anything. Out from Indonesian recipe. Yeah. I think except the durian and oh. the pork. <laughs> but I cook pork a lot and it smells nice. Oh my god. <laughs> and um, do you have like the, like the typical part? I mean when it's the difficult, very difficult in your life when you are away from your life. Saying upon that, I have to go back, um, back in 2005. My father passed away in 2005. So in my family, I only had me, my sister, and my mom. So there was some family problems during those times. I really started working in 2006 when I was a bachelor student. And I was working in the day. And I was having my class in night shift. So that was uh, something I was doing. And and that time I was already out from my house because my work locations was out from the city. I am really I, I was I'm from the central city. I'm in mean, Dhaka city. So my work location was almost 20, 25 kilo out from the city. That was that's a village. Sorry. That is actually a cement manufacturing plant. So I started working as an assistant of research production. At the same time, I was, I was doing my bachelor's. So it was a tough time for me. 2009, my coming into Singapore was uh, quite surprising. I, I just filled up an interview form online. I had only forgot about So after two and a half months, suddenly I got a call from Singapore that I was selected for interview. Oh wow. And my mom didn't know. My sister didn't know. And I was already selected to come in here for three months for interview. And uh, before I came, just, uh, just, I mean, my flight was the next morning and my mom got to know at the night. Wow, that's really surprising. That was not surprising, that was shocking. Because I am the only gents in my family, because there is two ladies, actually three ladies. My grandma is still alive, she is 19. Uh, of the record, she still cooks for us and that's and I came in here, I gave the interview and I was selected and I didn't go back. So they extended my visa for two years. So that was you just 
got called for, for interview and then suddenly come and then you never come back. Yeah, I, I didn't go back after three months. After the project finished in 2010, I went back and I went back for a long holiday. Six months. That was holiday. That was really holiday. I was holding my visa with me and my company was not having any job. That was actually after uh, I mean post project situation. So they asked me to go for holiday. Uh, company gave me a ticket and they told me that don't come back until we call you. So and they were paying me half of my salary. That's awesome. After six months I came back. So this six months I was in what I felt is when I went back in 2010, the first thing I saw my mom became more old than the last one. Because she was she was so tense. What I'm doing actually alone. And that's my first time out of my country. She knew that maybe Maybe I am a fighter because I lost my dad. But out from a country, it's a totally different thing. So anyway, uh, then 2010 August, I came back in Singapore. The most important thing I miss is my family. Yeah, I think all uh, I mean all the migrants in Singapore are. Yeah, the moment. It's like, especially uh, when there is this country is about all about technology. Yeah. Honestly speaking, I didn't find any emotional emotions. What is thinking about it, which is so true. So end of the day, everybody is missing the moments. First of all, I'm not a brave guy. I'm still frightened about so many things. So many things. But yes, what I gained in the last 10 years is self-confidence. Which really, really helps me to take my decisions in different, different situations. What I will say for everyone, especially those who are working here, from the very ground level that is the most difficult part and that is where I am very lucky that when I came in Singapore I was not completely on a ground level but I was the connection between ground level and the high level because I was the admin so all our ground level staffs they had to come to me for different kind of holidays, leave applications, uh, medical leave applications, all these kind of things, visa extensions. And I saw the Australia. And when I came out from admin position, when I joined in logistics, I went down to the ground. I went on site and I saw everybody is fighting. Let me tell you a story. I was staying in a dormitory. So one night, suddenly I just heard a lot of sound. I woke up. I woke up with a very, very big chaos. My door was locked and all my roommates was just pushing the door behind. I was really surprised and I was scared. That is 2 o'clock in the middle of the night. Then I heard shouting. Actually, there was a fighting on going outside my room. Outside my room, between Bangladeshi, Indian, and Thai people, that was a very bad fight. And 
one of those Thai workers who are holding a knife and he stabbed someone. Police came, the whole dormitory was seized for one whole week. The investigation went on. And finally, I got to know that the clash between these three, there was only reason family. That made me more curious and actually uh, the story was the Indian guy, he was a bit of drunk. So he said something wrong to the Thai guy about his family. And Thai guy became very angry. He wanted to fight. Basically that Bangladeshi person was trying to stop them. But he, when he heard that uh, there was some bad words and he became angry too. So the fight became financial fight. Yeah, I'll call it a financial fight. This is where the most difficult part comes. And that is where I would say that if you really want to face a difficult time, you have to make sure that you are strong enough to handle the rules and regulations. And the most important thing is get your self-confidence, gain your self-confidence. I, I got to know about one person, he was my mentor in Singapore. He is a safety manager now. When he came here back in 1995, he was already a master degree holder for Bangladesh. University of Dhaka. He told me his life story that when he got to know that he's coming in Singapore, wow, Singapore is a very upgrading country that will give him a different kind of view. The day he landed in Singapore, next day the agent gave him a broom to sweep the road. Imagine that thing, he is a master degree holder. He came to Singapore with a lot of dreams and all his dreams are in that room. He was a housekeeping staff for Singapore Roads for one whole year. Second year, he started with cutting the trees and grasses. So what do you feel then? Your dreams, in, in most of the cases, you feel that your dreams are already there. But this person didn't let that happen. This person hold his dream. He did his job. He converted himself with different kind of courses. He did that himself. Finally, he became a safety officer after three years. You know, there's a lot of story in Singapore yeah. like that. A lot of stories in Singapore. Thank you so much for sharing with me today. And I hope um, maybe this video can inspire some people, um, whoever is seeing this. And yeah, um, as he says, confidence is really a thing for yourself to be brave. And to, yeah, just to be you. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you so much. See you next See you, video. Everyone.